Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is Taylor. Not Hampshire means New Hampshire. And I attempted the Appalachian Trail in 2020 and got about three weeks in and got off the trail in Hot Springs, North Carolina because of the ATC's recommendations and work and COVID and all that crazy stuff that happened in 2020. So those are a couple frequently asked questions. I thought I'd just answer those real quickly right away. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about through hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2021 and if I'm gonna do it, if it's possible and all that. So my answer right now is yes, I am going to hike the Appalachian Trail in 2021. I'm getting all my gear, I'm training, I'm thinking about it, I'm making it work financially, logistically, and all that. But I am keeping in mind that things could change. Um, COVID's getting worse where I am, and there's just a lot of things that could happen. So I am keeping that in the back of my mind, but I am staying really positive about it and really hoping that this can happen. So the ATC, the Appalachian Trail Conservancy, sent out an email recently saying that they are still recommending that hikers don't return to the Appalachian Trail in 2021, but they did write out a list of guidelines and things that you should follow if you do plan on returning. So it seems like they might still be supportive as long as you do the right things and stay safe and all that. Registration opens tomorrow, which is December 1st, and they're doing that so you can see everyone's start dates and when they're signing up so that when you plan and choose your start date, you can pick a day that is less crowded to avoid being in a group of too many people. So I think that's good. I did see a video from Ram Dino the other day where he had some information coming straight from the ATC. And the thing that stood out to me the most was that the ATC isn't sure yet if they are recognizing through hikers in 2021. And I know it's not a big deal if the ATC recognizes through hikers. And if you walked 2,200 miles, that should be recognition enough. But the fact that they don't recognize through hikers kind of makes me a little worried because it makes it seem like they don't want us there. But then at the same time, they did give us a really long set of guidelines that we could follow to stay safe. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit of mixed feelings. And when you do go to atcamp.org to look at the registration and sign up and all of that. I think the information there is pretty outdated. I think it's from May. So I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of iffy. Um, I'll wait for that website to be updated to see what they say next, but I'm sure everything will be okay. The only other thing that stands out to me is if these states have quarantine restrictions that the Appalachian Trail goes through. For instance, I think Massachusetts right now, you need to quarantine for two weeks upon entering. And if you don't do that, then it could be a fine of $500. So that's a little worrisome, but I don't know. I am kind of hoping that the quarantine restrictions will be lifted in 2021. So we'll just see what happens with that. Um, I'm not gonna break any laws on my through hike. So yeah. <laughs> All right, I really don't know what else to say about this topic. I will put out more information as it comes, but I just want everyone watching this to know that I am doing everything I can to hike in 2021 and I'm pretty confident that it can happen and COVID won't be an issue down the road but we never know we've never had to deal with something like this before so subscribe to my channel because I'm going to put out a lot more Appalachian Trail content soon and a lot more updates because things can change at any point point. and before I end this video I want my dog to stop barking And before I end this video, I just want to say quickly that Enlightened Equipment is the company that I get my puffy jacket from and my sleeping bags and my down booties and all that warm stuff. And they're having their biggest sale of the year right now. It's 10% off anything custom that you can design on their website. There's so many options that you can choose from. It's crazy. And then 20% off all their stock products. So if you are looking for a really warm sleeping bag or puffy jacket for hiking or through hiking or anything i recommend checking that out i will put links in the description to everything i have from their website so you can check that out 
and the 10 to 20% off discount is automatically applied when you check out. So they didn't tell me to say that. I'm just a huge fan of the company and I wanted to help save anyone watching this money if they want a new sleeping bag. So stay tuned for more Appalachian Trail updates. Hit the like button, the subscribe and all that. It really helps my channel and I will see you soon. All right, it usually takes me days and days to make YouTube videos, but I just finished recording that and I'm already headed upstairs right now to edit and post it to YouTube. So I hope you appreciate how fast I'm getting this out to you right now.